Hi guys, welcome back to Detailing and the Beast. Today we're going to be doing some sort of battle of the brands. Um, we've got the Autobrite Direct Bright Gel. I've had this one for a little while, a very firm favourite wheel cleaner. And the Easy Car Care Geo Gel. Now this I got from uh, Easy Car Care when I bought a, a package of one litre pro products. Um, I've used them both. They're very, very similar, but there are some notable differences. Um, so today I thought I would do a little bit of a, a shoot-off between the two. So what we're going to do, we're going to wash uh, the front wheels on, on my truck. They haven't been done for a little while, sad to say, but it's probably near on three months. Um, but anyway, you didn't hear that. Um, so we'll do the front two wheels on the truck using my trusty old methods. So I've got a wheel and tire cleaning video, I'll put a link for that up here. But basically what we're gonna be using is the easy detail, no relation to easy car care, but the easy detail brushes, I have a set of three. Um, chances are we won't be using the arch brush today. I'm not gonna be doing the arches, just the wheels. We've got uh, an Autobrite wheel brush there. We have a Soft 99 wheel mitt. And we have, we have the Viken wheel face brush, we have the AliExpress tyre cleaning brush, and we also have an old Meguiar's Lanswool mitt. A lot of stuff I know, but it's just my method of cleaning the wheels. Sometimes I use it all, sometimes I don't. Um, so what we're going to do today, I'm just going to have hot water in that bucket. We're not going to be using anything like a wheel shampoo or anything like that today. We're literally going to be using these two gel type wheel cleaners. So let's get into it. So there you go, that was the footage of the two wheels being cleaned. So we've got some results. So I've done some swabs here 
before and after as well. We'll go into them in a minute. Um, just a few things about both of the products. Bright Gel, firstly, says that it's for wheels and tyres, which, uh, which is good. I'm not saying that this can't be used on tyres, but it doesn't actually specifically say that it can. So for a, a product that will do wheels and tyres, that's a thumbs up. Um, going on to price. Now, this one, we'll go in 500 mils first. So this one, the Bright Gel from Autobright Direct, is £11 for 500 mil. The Easy Car Care is only £8.50 for 500 mil. So a clear winner on price at 500 mil. If you are buying these in bulk, and by bulk I mean 5 litre drums, the Autobrite comes in at £32 for 5 litres, whereas the Easy Car Care comes in at £38 for 5 litres. So although it's cheaper at 500 mil, it's more expensive at 5 litres. Now, I don't want to get too much into, into pricing around these two companies because they are, they are known and <laughs> they are heavily known for their discounting and their heavy discounting. Um, easy pretty much all the time. There's always a sale on. Um, they get referred to as the DFS of, <laughs> of detailing. Autobrite, not so much, but they have two massive events in the year, the Easter sale and the Christmas sale. And all I'm going to say is you would be mad to buy these at full price, given the levels of discounts that these guys do offer throughout the year. That's all I'm going to say on price. The Autobrite one. Now, this is interesting. This says that it's pH balanced, which is, which is nice for a wheel cleaner, okay? The EZ one is heavily, it says highly alkaline. High alkaline is what it says on the label. Um... As such, Autobrite claim that because theirs is pH neutral, um, that theirs is wax friendly. They state that this this is uh, this is safe on protective wheels. Easy make no such claim whatsoever, and um, probably because of the high alkaline nature of it. Um, now, that leads me on to another point. Both of these are gel like products. That's why we're reviewing them side by side, right? Neither of them are dilutable at all. They are both ready to use as you buy them. Now compare that to a normal wheel cleaner, some um, some Easy Viper or AD Very Cherry, we'll keep it within we'll keep it within these two brands. Them things are dilutable at up to 10, 15, 20 to 1 sometimes. Um, I probably use them around about 10 to 1, but hey ho, you're getting 10 times the amount of product with them over these that are ready to go. And them are almost certainly cheaper than these and they do clean just as well. Now, because these are non-dilutable, we have to come back to this being high alkaline. This will not get diluted down with water, unlike something like a high alkaline snow foam, for instance. Um, this is high alkaline, the pH level will be very high, and as such, it's probably not gonna be wax friendly. Um, so we'll just, just put it out there, wax friendly and not. The instructions. On this one, say to spray it on, agitate it. Uh, in fact, this one doesn't actually say that you have to agitate it. Uh, this one does. It says that you spray it on, agitate it with a brush, leave it for a short while, is what they say, and then pressure wash it off. Autobrite, on the other hand, say that this can be used straight on a wheel with no agitation, touchless, um, or for better results to use a brush and agitate. So uh, that's what I did. I agitated them both because that's my method of cleaning the wheels. For Autobrite give a specific instruction of leaving that between two to four minutes after agitation before jet washing it off. So we use that as a benchmark and we did the same thing here. I class a short while as a couple of minutes. So that's what we did. They both had the same sort of time. Now they both actually say that they're safe to use on all wheel finishes, um, including unlacquered, chrome, powder coated, polished, you name it. They say they're safe to use. Um, Autobrite just says, names them all out and says, yeah, it's fine to use on all of them. The EZ one says, yeah, it's fine to use, but test it on an inconspicuous area. So just be aware of that little, uh, that little nuance there. The Autobrite one, and we'll get on to, to smells in a minute when I, when I review how I use them and when I use them. Um, but this one says it's lemon and lime. And this one says it's cola. Now this one smells, this one's nice. I like this one. Okay, it smells like cola cubes. Lovely. <laughs> this one, when I was using it, it was a bit, 
it wasn't it wasn't overly potent okay it wasn't um but it was a little bit pungent it was a little bit um chemically rather than lemon and lime there was a hint of lemon and lime but it was more like a like a lemon and lime that was trying to mask something um so i wasn't too keen on the smell as i say i've had bright gel for a long time and i've used it for a, a good while a good few years um so it's it's not a surprise to me that the smell in that but i do have to compare them um, and this one i'm going to give and say this one smells better so overall cleaning power now i'll show you these um these swabs here now with an overlay footage um in terms of dirt before they are pretty much identical um in terms of afters the easy one slightly wins there um in terms of less dirt on the pad after the wheel has been washed um that could be down to to a number of things including the product itself to be fair or even my method i could have missed a little bit where i've swiped i don't think i did but it could be down to that so on cleaning i am going to call this and say it's actually a draw um if i had to swing one way it would be ever so slightly in easy car care's favor um ever so slightly but i am going to call that a draw for the purpose of this test in terms of foam again i'm going to call it a draw however there was something i noticed the the dirt that was being pulled off came to the surface of this foam if that makes sense so you could see the dirt being or the foam on the on the wheel being dirtier it was browner um, whereas this kept a very foamy shaving foam like consistency and it was very very white all the way through even though it did clean very well so again i'll call that a draw but for aesthetics in terms of like an instagram picture or a, oh look how good my wheel cleaner is this one would again ugh, hair's breadth pinch it smell straight out easy car car wins that one all day long for me uh this as again i said earlier was a little bit potent for me this one smells really nice old school cola cubes in a paper bag that sort of smell oh it brings yeah it's memories man it was uh, it was lovely really nice to work with in terms of safety so being wax safe and stuff all day long straight out from the instructions bright gel gets that for me being uh ph neutral price we mentioned price earlier um being that these guys are massive in their sales and i think i may go out on a limb here and say this but i think you could get these in 500 mils in their respective sales for around about four pound fifty to five pounds for a 500 mil bottle um so i'm gonna call that a draw and i'm pretty sure i've seen these both at that sort of price so again i'm gonna call that one a draw for economy they're both rubbish <laughs> for economy they are big crap um they're straight to use products no dilution whatsoever you'll get through them like nobody's business um i reckon well what's that a liter i reckon you're probably gonna call this maybe a hundred mil 50 to 100 mil per wheel by the time you've sprayed it on and give it a good going over it needs a bit of product to get the foam in action going um, and a little tip here what i also found was if you uh, there's two ways of washing the wheel right so using the product you can either spray it straight onto the dry wheel and, and agitate it with the uh, with the easy brush but i like to jet wash the wheel off first just to remove the surface rubbish you don't have to but you know it, i find it's better um, and with the little bit of water that's left on the wheel these things foam up a lot better so a little tip for you there is you know add a little bit of water on your brush or add, spray the wheel down first but with a little bit of water they do foam up a lot better um and finally we're going to give autobright an extra point just for mentioning the fact that they could use this on tires now i have a routine for tires which involves citrus wash from either of these companies um, or the elbow grease that i showed you in the tire and wheel cleaning video um, and it is obviously a separate product um, but I find that that does remove a hell of a lot of grime off, off tyres with the uh, with the AliExpress brush. But when I've just tried this outside, I did then go back over a tyre with this, with the Bright Gel in particular, um, and it brought a tyre up, lovely, it really did, it brought a lot of crap off the tyre wall. Um, so to do that with a product all in one, so you do your wheel and your tyre at the same time, I'm going to give them an extra point for that. So, overall, Autobright 
pipped it on being protection safe and it also got a point for being able to be used on tyres. EZ came up on the aesthetics front, so the smell um, and the foam, uh, and it got a little little bit of a point for the foam. Uh, and it also picked the cleaning ever so slightly, and I'll I, again I'll show you these uh, show you these swabs now. Ever so slightly picked the cleaning. So overall, I make that an absolute dead square draw. <laughs> After all that, it's a draw. Um, I really can't pick between them to be honest and for me there would be potentially two reasons why I would choose one over the other. The first one is that safety aspect in terms of being wax safe so if you've got a nice wheel wax or something like that especially in summer I would opt for the Autobrite one. The second thing that I would use as a yardstick for, for which one I buy at a particular time would be the price. Now, EZ have a sale on pretty much every week. Um, so you only have to wait a few days before you'll get this cheaper than its RRP. You may have to wait for the next Easter or the next Christmas to get that on sale. Um, so for accessibility in terms of how quick I can get this, if I needed it, any of these products, this one would win there as well. So again, it's, it swings and roundabouts. It's down to the time of year and what sort of wheel finish you've got. And it literally is as simple as that. So a dead square draw, well done to both products, both companies. They cleaned extremely well. I'm happy with both of them. I would use both of them. In fact, I do, I use this. I've got this in a five litre drum. Um, I, when that runs out, I will genuinely look at which one's on offer at the time and which one I can get for the cheapest because they both do pretty much the same job. So well done to both companies for that. Two great products, guys. Whichever one you buy, you won't be disappointed. Um, and that brings us to the end of this week's video. So as always guys, thank you for watching. If you found this video interesting or informative, uh, please hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to share this wherever you, wherever you think might benefit from a share. So if you've got friends that are into car detailing and are looking for wheel cleaners, etc. If you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. It really is gonna help my channel grow. Um, I'm aiming for some big numbers this year, hopefully, we'll see. Um, and don't forget to ring that bell icon because then you'll be made aware when my next video goes live. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit the bell icon, and I'll see you on next week's video. Goodbye.